Hey, what's up, YouTube? If you guys are like me, you've tried to learn the limbic system before, and every time you forget it, so here's the mnemonic to never forget those constituents again. If someone says, what's the limbic system? You can quickly name off its structures included. So here's the unlabeled diagram. You can see uh, typically these are the constituents of the limbic system. You have the amygdala, which is having a close relationship to the hippocampus and you have the parahippocampal gyrus, which curves around to form the cingulate gyrus. Then you have the thalamic, uh, thalamus and the fornix. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make each of these letters represent a portion of the limbic system. So as you can see, the L here is somewhat shaped like the, the curved L-shaped cingulate gyrus. It's somewhat C-shaped, but let's say it's L-shaped. Um, because that continues around to the C-shaped sort of parahippocampal gyrus, which will represent with a C. The M can represent the uh, fornix, and you say this doesn't really look like an M. Well, if you look at these sort of sections, you can see that this kind of does trace an M if you consider both sides of the fornix. And remember, this portion is the hippocampus, um, but you can kind of see an M-shaped um, analogy there. And then the eye you can say is the hippocampus with the dots of the eye representing the um, amygdala. And then you, you can see you have another eye in the word limbic. So you can say the other eye, in some cases people say that the mammillary body is included in the limbic system, but I think that more is part of the um, hypothalamus. But if in your system you want to include the mammillary body, you can say one of those dots in the eye represents the mammillary body. And then the B represents the thalamus, which if you can include both sides, it is somewhat uh, B-shaped. Just one reminder is, remember the cingulate gyrus is bilateral structure, as, as are really all of these, um, but this mnemonic, um, the B represents two thalami, and the M represents two fornices. Um, so hopefully this helped you guys out. Hit like if it did. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you can. Cheers. Have a great day.